Hello again, everyone. I'm Necromanticer, and we're back here with Bioshock 2. I've just completed the final DLC for Dark Souls 2, and I fully intend to come back to Bioshock now that that's complete. Now you have the pleasure of Andrew Ryan's company. He's the one who built this place, and he's the one who ran it into the ground. Nobody knows exactly what happened. Maybe he went mad. Maybe the power got to him. Maybe he just decided he didn't like people. Whichever way you slice it, good man died. My family's in a submarine hidden in the foundation of Fontaine Fisheries. I'll meet you there. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of pro-Andrew Ryan sentiment going around the city at the moment. It's certainly a dark time for everybody involved, and Andrew Ryan doesn't really seem to have helped the Hi on, what happened there? Was I not paying attention? Let's try that again. Okay. Get that moving. Get some horizontal pieces. And that should work out right. There we go. Don't know what happened with the first one. I can assure you I messed up somewhere. However. It, this doesn't have anything I really want at the moment. This gene bank allows me to swap out all the uh, tonics that I have and the plasmids as well, but it's not going to come too handy just yet. Save that for later. Here we are in Neptune's Bounty. Yeah, safety was going rather well, but uh, so much for that. What crawls in my garden? That would be me. Oh, thank you, lady. You left me some nice supplies. Greatly appreciated. But days go by like wind. That's hey, hey, ominous. Oh, Mr. Bubbles. How have you been? I believe you've been acquainted with my electric buck before. This is a new model of Big Daddy. They hold a rivet gun, but don't have the massive drill, so they're a little bit more dangerous at range, but not as much in melee. There we go. Let's get behind some cover, because, yeah, as you can see, his rivet gun comes out and really hurts. Come on. They also have the nasty habit of throwing out proximity mines, but luckily he hasn't trifled with that just yet. Ooh, jeez, he is not being too friendly. Ow. He does have a melee swing, but it's not very powerful. What's wrong with you, and there you have it. That's the rosy model of Big Daddy. All of them carry lots of money, so no, very worth no, it. No, no. There we go, little girl. Let me just take all your atom, and you can so kind you. To bugger off. Little ones, but are you really a friend to us? Regardless, a little one brings you a gift to demonstrate our appreciation. Oh, how nice. Yes, as you can see, Tenenbaum will reward you for saving her little girl. Oh, is there no way back over? I want to access that hacked uh, vending machine once again in order to stock up on some of the first aid kits I just wasted, but looks like that's not really an option, so let's just keep on going then. Let's see. Seems like a nice... Oh, and their rivet gun. Later in the game, we'll have some nice things for me. This is where we're supposed to go, so let's see what's on over here. Hmm. Oh, there we are. Oh, <laughs> can't carry any of those. That's a turret over there, so I don't want to annoy that. As you can see, she left a little gift for me. Oh! There we go. It spotted me. 
and it is painful. I'll be with you guys in just a moment. Let me hack your little turret here. Yes, this should do quite nicely. Lots of curves in here, but no matter. We can sort all this out rather quickly. And there you have it. Now it's mine, and you guys can... Um, where's the other one? Oh my god, there's so many of these guys. Thank god for that rocket turret. That was a very poor encounter on my part. You see, this is why it's so worthwhile to save them. They give you a lot of atom in return for saving them as well, like this right here, 200 atom, as well as a plasmid and some extra stuff. Hypnotize Big Daddy. It's a nice utility uh, plasmid, but it's generally worthless for exploration, which is what I'm trying to keep most of my plasmids for at the moment, so it's probably not going to come in handy just on yet. First off, I've got 400 atom here. That's an incredible amount for where I'm at in the game. So let's get another plasmid slot. No, I don't care. I've seen it already. Hmm. Huh? That's strange. I don't know what these one cost uh, plasmids are. I think they're actually something I got for buying the game off of Steam. That's strange. Winter Blast is nice, but uh, not necessarily the best. Yes, that's extra nutrition is really good. It allows me to get a little bit extra boost. Let's get one more plasma slot. As well as an Eve and health upgrade. That should put me in a very handy spot. And there is a chain bank right here, so... I can immediately replace any plasmids that I want to do away with. Oh, considering I only have four at the moment, then I should be fine. Where is the voices coming from? Right now they are a big threat to me, so I want to deal with them before I do anything else too dangerous. I took quite a bit of damage in that last encounter because I wasn't smart about it, so let's hack this. Hmm, looks like it's a little bit of a difficult hack, but it should be okay so long as I'm a little bit quick about it. There we go. Huzzah. That's our hack, and that means that I can get cheap first aid kits, and I'll just top myself off with some potato chips, since I get extra health from them. We're supposed to be heading into Fontaine Fisheries, but I want to explore down here a little bit. As you can see, this place is filled with water, so my electric bolt is going to be very effective. And what did it get me, huh? Oh, come on. How did that not work? He's standing right in the water. Oh, that's a nice electric buck. Hmm. Can I hack this? I can. Usually you can't actually hack these. Oh dear. This is a mean hack. Usually you can't hack these, but occasionally they're nice about it and actually allow you to hack it without figuring out the code from somewhere else in the level. As you can see, this whole line here kind of tempts you to immediately routing it the power over, but you really need to uncover a lot when you're dealing with difficult hacks, otherwise you will get messed up. Give him a taste, Patrick. 
What's that? Change of heart, Timmy? Timmy! Ready to talk now? Go on, Sullivan. Go on and do your duty. Whatever Ryan thinks he can do to me, Fontaine can do double! Yeah. That's the starting of the conflict between Fontaine and Andrew Ryan. Fontaine was actually running a smuggler ring down out of Fontaine Fishery, mainly importing crucifixes and Bibles, any sort of religious paraphernalia, which were one of the few things that were expressly outlawed here in Rapture. Oh, awesome. there we go. And that is something that always kind of confused me about Rapture in general, was why religion had been expressly outlawed. The very idea of a sort of capitalist economy with the heavily objectivist overtones that seems to be the idea behind Rapture goes directly against the idea of limiting religious freedom. Who can blame a lady who craves variety? Well, that's once again ominous, but she once again delivers quite nicely. And Let's hack this. Day the gentleman stopped calling. Kinda happens when you spice yourself up too much, lady. I'm not gonna lie, you're kinda to blame there. Let's get this hack moving. But as I was saying, the idea of limiting uh, religious freedoms is anathema to the idea of personal responsibility and self-determination that is core to the philosophy of objectivism. So it's, it was always strange that they set up that little storyline about the smuggling. Atlas radioed on ahead. Says you were looking for an invite to the fisheries. Nuts, I say. But if in your head's up to the warp master's office and find old Peach a research camera, maybe I could manage an invite. Mm. Well, what was yep. that? My friend, you have fun. Yeah. He immediately introduces the fact that these spider splicers very difficult to deal with. This lady's been following me around all level, and now she finally shows her true colors. Look at that health bar. Peach is not too bad of a guy. He at least helps out with this security drone. So. Kinda happy about that. That one's too tough for you. Look on the conveyor belt. You'll find something to keep you alive. Now, go get that camera <laughs> and then snapshot some of yes. those that crawls on the ceiling. Then I'll let you into the fisheries. Yeah, that's Just exactly what it says it is. I got me a rocket launcher now. Fontaine's dead, and everybody knows it. In the ground for months, and half the place still jumping at his shadow. Christ, even Ryan! You never mind all that. We got work to do. I'm doing work, don't worry about it, Atlas. I got you covered. This pistol doing real nice for me. Also, my turret is still doing work. <laughs> But yes, as you can see, Peach is not the most trusting of fellows. Peach knows where to find a research camera. He seems a decent enough sort. No doubt he'll wait until after you've done his errands to stick a ship in your belly. There was somebody over there. I don't trust it. The Little Sisters Orphanage. Mm. In trouble times, give your little girl a light. Oh. Nope, this is an ambush. 
I don't want anything to do with that. Oh, right in the face. That was painful. Yeah, as you can see, now's when they start kind of upping the ante with the number of enemies you have to face. They do start increasing your rewards as well, but they're certainly not nice about it. What's down there? What is... Oh, that looks valuable. So let's see if we can grab that before we head back on. Oh, dear. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with that. <laughs> Some machine gun, a corpse, and hopefully I can hack this bad boy. I have a little buddy with me. Oh, that's mean of them. That's really mean of them. Let's see if we can take it all the way on over and then bring the current down. Here we are. Just a few more. That one goes there, and there we go. That's how we're routing the power. And I get this lovely little security drone to aid me. Fantastic. Anything over here? No, it's just these right on down. Yeah, as you can see, I am really stocking up on a lot of ammo here, but uh, that tends to happen. Most of the time, you're more hurting for health and Eve than you are for ammo. But now we need to go find that research camera for Peaches in order to earn his trust. Assuming that we even earn his trust, there's there's still a rather large possibility that he is going to be a backstabbing sod who waits until we grab him up that research camera to stab us in the face, as Atlas was kind enough to inform us. Some nice stuff down here. Already back up to full on my first aid kits. Anything down back here? Usually when games include an area like this, it's because there's something of value at the end. Let's see what this is. Something must be done about Fontaine. While I was buying buildings and fish futures, he was cornering the market on genotypes and nucleotide sequences. Rapture is transforming before my eyes. The great chain is pulling away from me. Perhaps it's time to give it a tug. You think I'm yes, Andrew Ryan Not was there. not happy with losing control of his rapture. That. Which is another thing that kind of is a bit of a break from the... Oh, Dickens. Which is a little bit of a break from what you would kind of expect of the story that they're trying to tell with this game is that Andrew Ryan is kind of a control freak. He uh, outlawed religion and tries to be the one in control of the entirety of Rapture, even when uh, Fontaine managed to start gaining a lot of sway among the populace. It really just runs counter to the philosophies that they're trying to represent, so uh, I, I don't really know what to make of it. It could be said that they are doing it on purpose, Mr. Coswell? and, oh, what's this? It could be said that they are doing it on purpose in order to sort of show you what happens when you deviate from the objectivist ideal, but it really seems like they're just accidentally misrepresenting it in order to tell their story. Which isn't a terrible thing, but uh, it does kind of take away from their message. Let's see what this says. I saw one of the smugglers having a game of catching on the docks today. And this surprised me because his hands were crippled during the war. He was unloading the barge the other day when he was bitten from this sea slug. He woke up the next morning, and he found he could move his fingers for the first time in years. I asked him if he still had that sea slug, as luck would have it. <laughs> he did. And 
that is how they discover Adam. Oh, 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 whoa. Let's be civil here. I hadn't even aggroed you yet. No, 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 I'm, we're not doing this. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, come on. Don't be, don't be a, like, don't be that way. You're with me, right buddy? You're with me. That's right. You're gonna help me clear this next area, like a good little big daddy. Of course, that is gonna make his lumbering footsteps constantly mess with the screen, but I've got a voice to listen to. We don't know what has happened to you. Ryan's men have taken you away and said you are needed to save Rapture. Who needs a child to save a city? But I, I see these little girls crawling out of this bed, and I only wonder if you might one day crawl out of this bed and find this note. We look for you, but if you find this, come to us at the Fighting McDonald's in room number seven. The call to our room is 7533. Three, three. We miss you. 7533. Definitely going to want to remember that one. This Fontaine fellow is somebody to watch. Once he was just a menace to be convicted and hung. But he always manages to be where the evidence isn't. He's the most dangerous type of hoodlum. Yes, as you can see, they're already setting up the growing rivalry between Andrew Ryan, the control freak. Oh, no, 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 I don't want that. I do not want that whatsoever. But I might be able to hack it. Nope. Ugh. This big daddy's actually getting in my way. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, don't want that. For a small price, I can completely disactivate that entire alarm. Which actually means that I can also hack up all of the disabled drones. So, let's start working on that, shall we? God, a lot of really randomly placed overload nodes. Kind of worried about that. Seems like they're already trying to ramp up the difficulty on hacking, but... It's no big deal just yet. However, that gives me quite a lot of... Oh, can I not reach it? I don't think I can. This means it's gotta go. Nothing for me. Let's keep heading on and see what we can find. Oh, <laughs> what luck. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. A lot of nasty stuff. Let's see if this will do us right. Hit it right on down the middle. And there we go. That's our hack. Now we'll have buddy security drones if we come across anything. As you can see, all these smuggler crates marked with the black hand, filled with crucifixes, filled with Bibles, all sorts of religious things that Fontaine was smuggling in here. Hmm? The research camera looks just like one you'd see topside. According to this magazine article I scrounged up, hmm. it can also analyze genetic information, parse biological structures, and lots of other five dollar words. <laughs> That's their way of telling you that it's really, really good. So let's make sure we get that. And we should be getting to the time to wrap it up. However, the research camera is really close, so I want to make sure we take the time to grab that before I say adieu. Hack this among just like every other turret. Ooh! Ankle. Ooh, was not expecting that. Can I, can I, can I not? There we go. It gets a little bit hectic when there's a lot of projectiles and explosions going off, so sometimes it can be a bit difficult to see exactly what is going on. No, that's not the right one. Ooh, do not want that. But that should set us up nicely. 
one more hack down. That was quite the uh Ooh. Where are they coming from? Oh, you need to go. There we go. You need to just stop what you're doing. And I will retreat down this direction. There's a security camera in there, but let's check my map. Yes, that's gonna be down in there is where I'm gonna wanna head in order to grab up the security camera, I think. Or it could be that's just some... Hmm. I'm trying to see uh, where the objective beacon is telling us to go so that I can... Okay. This hallway is just ridiculous. I don't know what they were thinking here, but they wanted me dead. go. Oh, the <laughs> fancy. That sometimes that just randomly happens with the way things are set up and it's really beautiful. There we go. Bunch of first aid kits. Proximity mine. And there's a... F oh my god, just stop. This is just so silly. I thought I was done with these guys, but apparently not. Okay, let's line this all up and start routing the current on over there is a lot of hacking to be done but it oh I hate it when that happens it, it does occasionally happen that you don't get enough pieces in order to straight route it across like that so you need to deal with a lot of turns oh, no you don't headshots with the pistol are <clears throat> I, I hate that as I was saying, headshots with the pistol are incredibly powerful. Also, a lot of smuggling when it comes to... What are you shooting at? When it comes to alcohol. So, it just seems to be another break with the theme that I don't really understand why they implemented. In a truly objectivist, you know, capitalist society like they're trying to make this out as, uh, there's no such thing as taxes. So, what you would be smuggling for is kind of beyond me. I don't know what they're trying to say with that commentary there, but it's a little bit counter to their themes they're trying to put out. There we go. Come on. I can't hack that, really? There we go. One pistol clip will take it out just dandy. It's just a lot of machine guns. Ooh, some rocket launchers. And a safe. Beautiful. Pretty sure I can route this this way. Take it on up here. And now all I need is a pair of horizontal pieces. And what does this lovely little hat give me? Anti-personal rounds and heat-seeking RPGs. Those are an absolutely phenomenal combo with Incinerate. Hanging now, is it? That's what we've come to? Now look, I don't make the laws here, I just enforce them. But I didn't come to Rapture to string men up for running contraband. If Ryan and his crew have their law, then they can have my badge. And that's just the crux of the matter, is this whole punishment of smuggling and uh, religious artifacts that's completely counter to why Rapture was made in the first place and so I really don't understand why they include that in the story hmm seems like we've hit upon a nice stopping point I think we're going to be making some progression right around that corner so this is where I'm gonna be cutting it for today thank you so much for watching I hope you'll stick around for the next episode Things are going to be flying fast and heavy as soon as we get that research camera, so tune in next time for all that jazz. Have a good day.